What if I told you that you could learn data structures and algorithms faster by doing fewer leak code problems? It sounds backwards, right? Everyone says that you need to grind hundreds of problems to prepare for interviews. But here's the truth. That grind creates something I call learning debt. Learning debt happens when you move on to new problems without fully understanding the previous ones. Problem A is shaky for you, then problem B confuses you even more, and by problem C, you're completely lost. If you've ever felt stuck on leak code, you've probably experienced this. I used to suffer from learning debt myself. It wasn't until I fixed it that I passed my interviews and landed my job at Google. The mistake people make is that they focus on the number of problems, but they should focus on how much they retain. If you solve a problem today, but can't recall how to solve it a week later, then did you really learn it? Instead of maximizing the number of problems, you need to maximize how much you retain from each one. The fix. The fix is simple. Repetition with spacing. For example, instead of aiming to do 150 problems once, aim to do 50 problems three times each. Trust me, you'll learn more. Now, I don't mean do a single problem three times in a row in a single study session. What you need to do is space the repetition. Here's how. Solve a problem for the first time on day zero. Then redo it on day one. Redo it again on day three, and then on day seven. You can adjust the timing to your taste, but that's the idea. The more you redo a problem, the more you'll retain from it. Each time you do a problem, start from memory. Don't just copy the code. Instead, try to recall and write the solution from scratch. And don't worry, this isn't just memorizing the answer. What you're doing is memorizing the patterns, which is exactly what interviews test. Why it works. Spaced repetition turns short-term memory into long-term memory. Interviews don't test what you learned yesterday. They test what you can recall weeks later. Spaced repetition simulates the recall that you'll be forced to do on your interview. When you revisit problems in this way, three things happen. Self-diagnosis. When you reattempt a previous problem, you can quickly see which parts you forgot and can focus on fixing them. With each redo, you'll forget less and less until your understanding is airtight. Progress tracking. Don't measure your progress by whether you can solve a problem first try. If you do this, you'll just get demotivated as you study. Instead, see how much faster and more accurate you get on reattempts of the same problem. Confidence. Solving the same problem days apart gives you real confidence. True confidence comes from having done the thing multiple times. You'll walk into interviews calm because you've truly mastered the patterns. So if you're grinding problem after problem but not getting better, stop. Kill your learning debt first. Do fewer problems, repeat them smarter, and you'll actually learn faster. I'm Alvin, and teaching people data structures and algorithms is all I do all day long. If you like my take on learning algorithms, then I think you'll love my full course at Structy.net. The curriculum is designed with space repetition in mind so that you really build mastery of the material. The best part is I've added small variations to the problems so you don't get bored repeating the same problem again and again. Here is what a user from our Discord had to say about the course. You can start the course for free today. I'll leave a link down in the video description.